I'm Hannah Penn and today I'm with the LSU Ag Center. We're here at the USDA Honeybee Lab in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we're going to be doing a mite test using powdered sugar. So it's important to test your hives for mites because these mites can kill your hives in the long term if they go untreated. And you need to test your hives periodically because uh, your bees can go into other hives accidentally or vice versa and the mites can get transmitted from colony to colony. So I guess we'll get started. We're going to go into the hive and we're looking for frames that are really full of brood because that's where the mites develop or in these brood cells. Thank you. So we take one out. So we have both capped and uncapped brood. Well, you can see we have plenty of bees to work with here. So now we have to look for the queen and make sure that she's not on this frame because we don't want her in our test. So we had previously gone through and actually caged our queen. So you can do this as well or just make sure, extra sure, that she's not on the frame that you're going to be testing. So and how we're going to test is we have a mason jar here with a 1 8 green lid and we're going to have that ready and we have a half cup scoop and this holds approximately 300 bees. Sure, thank you. Okay, and so what we're going to do is gently go down on the bees, not going upwards, just scooping down. And you can see that they're falling into our scoop. And you want a pretty good half cup, and then we dump them in, and then we put the lid on. So from here, we need two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and we're going to dump this in on top of the bees. And try not to let all of it blow away in the wind. Okay, so now that we have the powdered sugar in there, we're going to gently roll the bees in the powdered sugar so that they're really well covered. And what this is going to do is get in between them and the mites so that the mites drop off the bees and we can shake them out in a few minutes. So it's been about two minutes and we're going to shake our bees. And you want to do it pretty strongly so you don't want to hurt the bees but you want to make sure you get all your mites out. So they're falling out with the powdered sugar right now. Give them another stir up. Okay. So we'll put our bees over here to the side. And so it's hard to see from this distance, but we have little black specks in the powdered oh. sugar. So these are the mites right here. And so to help you actually see the, the mites and the sugar, we have water here and we're going to rinse off the mites using just tap water. So that way we can see them floating. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mites in this sample. So it's going to be kind of hard for you to see, but we have these little specks right here. So when you're looking for mites, you need to be sure that you're not counting pollen that's fallen off the bees or just other debris that's in your sample. So make sure when you look closely, the mites are moving. Um, and that's a pretty good giveaway that they are varroa mites. 